Today we're setting up the mini shark catfish and angelfish tank because it's looking like a disaster. And we need to make some huge changes so this tank looks great again. And I'm so excited because I have this brand new idea where I'm going to use these special rocks I have and put it into the tank. We also have to move the baby plecos. So let's get started. The tank I'm talking about is right here. This is the 40 gallon angelfish and mini shark catfish or petricola tank. This lid was just trying to block the evaporation and from fish jumping out, but we can move that now. So I turned the air off, which is why the water is not moving, and I turned off this filter. You guys can see it's quite messy. There's a lot of mulm everywhere, which isn't really harmful to the tank, but it just looks really bad. There's a bunch of algae here, a bunch of duckweed on top, which will go away slowly with the new filter. And then here are the baby plecos. They've grown quite a bit since I've had them in their little eggs. Catch out these little plecos that have been growing here and moving them in there while also removing this divider. Long term, the bristlenose plecos that are breeding in here, they're not doing well in this little compartment. I have lost a couple, so I wanna remove the divider and then just let them swim around the tank and hopefully the catfish don't bother them too much. But the shark catfish I'm talking about are hiding in there, which I'm gonna show you guys. And then we're gonna remove these rocks. And long term, a lot of these fish are gonna change. So if they don't breed a whole lot, that's okay. The goal is just to make the tank look better and make the fish more comfortable. So let's go ahead and get some of these rocks and we need to drain some of this water in this tank to really clear it up and just make it look really nice. So the first thing I'm gonna do is catch out these baby plecos and put them in here for now. And that way I can work on the tank without having to worry about the baby fish getting eaten or anything. So I got my net right here and I'm just gonna try to catch them out, put them in there and let's get started. Right, I believe I got all the baby plecos that were in there and see there's only three of those baby plecos in there that had survived because they get through these little holes and a lot of these fish end up eating them but when I had raised a lot of the baby plecos on my own into this separate container many more survived and we're still gonna see how many we can get to grow up to at least this size like this big guy right here as you can see the new ones I hatched and then the big one but it'll be much easier to get them food so now I'm gonna start draining the water, sucking up all the waste that's in here without disturbing the tank too much. All right guys, I've made some huge progress. Take a look. I removed all the rocks, all the plants, the divider, and now the tank is pretty much empty. The catfish are still hiding back there. I will show you guys them. Those are the ones that look like little sharks. But right now I gotta siphon out more of this junk so that the tank starts clearing up. All right, it's time to get the rocks for the tank. The ones that I said were special, I had them a while ago in another tank, in the African cichlid tank actually, but I decided to change them out and now it's time to use them again in this tank. So I've been keeping the rocks outside just because I didn't have room in my bedroom, of course. So I'm actually gonna use a very simple setup so that way we can see the catfish and that way you guys can see them because they're one of the coolest fish I own and have ever had. Here are all the rocks. This is called a volcanic rock, I believe. So it's really dark in color, which is really different from a lot of the rocks you see. I think I'm gonna use these four pieces. Maybe just do some big rocks. I also think I'm like maybe doing just two or three instead of all four. I have to put the camera down because I can't lift them and the camera. See you in a second. I got three of the rocks right here. And you guys can see the sponges and everything, which all the, oh, there you guys can see the catfish. Look, 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 look. Okay, so those are called Petricola catfish. They look like little sharks in the freshwater fish world, and I think they're super cool. And look at them, like now you can see them out, they're trying to hide, which is why I wanted to remove these sponge filters. So once, eventually we'll be able to do that, but look at them. They're just super cool. You have the bristlenose plecos hanging out with them, and hopefully they don't bother each other too much. But again, these catfish, I think are gonna move into my mini predator tank up here once this tank is all set up. But that's another day, so we're gonna go back to the catfish. But the catfish look super cool. Hey, look at him, he's like poking through the little hole. I love them, they're really curious little guys. They're really active for the most part. That's enough talking, let's go ahead and get these rocks in and just get the tank all set up. I'm gonna do this blacked out tank so the fish look really, really, you know, colorful and popping, and as well as the plants, so let's do it. All right guys, we made some big progress. I got the rocks in, got the plants in. As you guys can see down here, the fish are looking much better. I'm gonna fill the tank up, clear it a bit, and then we're gonna see how it does and then I'll show you guys the final result. Hopefully the catfish come out, but they probably won't because they're hiding in the sponge filters. But this tank is looking much, much better and the angelfish are looking amazing. And then I think I might keep the baby plecos in here 
just because it's much easier to take care of them rather than put them in the net box I was originally gonna put them in which is this one because this one gets harder to clean and it's inside the tank but we'll decide that later let's go ahead and fill up the tank alright guys I just took a shower while waiting for the tank to fill up and clear up a bit so let's take a look sorry for the noise but this little box is the bubbling noise you guys are hearing and all the baby fish are in there and I decided to leave them in there so I can just focus on growing them if I need I can I have a bigger one of these boxes that will give them more room as they grow up but if we look at the tank now take a couple steps back you can see it looks so so much better than it did before I'm really loving the rocks and the green just like this black on black theme the orange fish are really popping out now and just look amazing I moved the light up a bit just now and you can really see the orange fish popping out I love seeing the plecos they look so much happier than being stuck in the little corner already the male over here has found the cave I left in for them so if they want to breed they can do that and then all this like brown mold and stuff I'm just gonna let the filter pick it up and once it all settles I can siphon out later if I want again it's not really harmful to the fish you can see the catfish hiding in the back getting adjusted to the new tank and I just think they look like little sharks you know they're just really cool and unique and then the angelfish now have a ton of room to swim around and it just makes the tank look so much more complete and then when these guys have grown up to a big enough size where they won't get eaten then we'll put them into the tank and right now it's cloudy a bit just because everything's been stirred up for a while and I just did a water change all right guys it's the next day and the tank is really cleared up the tank looks incredible I didn't expect it to clear up this much so let's take a look look at how beautiful the angelfish look the green on the plants the rocks this thing is the gurgling noise you're hearing a ton of so don't mind that but all the baby plecos are in there they're chilling they're having fun and then we have the angelfish over here so the tank just looks really, really good. I'm really happy with it. I'm so glad it cleared up so much. I did clean the sponge filters over there. It looks stunning. I love the angelfish and the green on the plants. I didn't expect it to pop this much and it just looks amazing. This mulm stuff is slowly clearing away and if I have to, I can suck it out, but not too harmful to the fish. And the male pleco is chilling on the cave. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and like down below. Also check out this video because I know you'll love it. Thank you, have a beautiful and great day. You're doing awesome. Don't you ever forget that. I'll see you in the next one.